What we are now going to do is use the match formula within our VLOOKUP to ensure that we are always going to pick up the correct column. One of the key disadvantages of VLOOKUP formula is its hard-coded column number within the formula itself, which in this uh, case is this number three here. What this means is that dragging formulas across or copying and pasting them in any way across columns will not change that number at all. So what we're going to end up with is in this circumstance, we will not pick up the customer segment. We will simply pick up the region again. What it also means is that if for some reason the columns on our customer file were to switch, we then start picking up the wrong information completely. We don't pick up the region at all. So that's no good either. So what we want to do is create a formula which will cope with columns moving around and ideally we would want to be able to copy and paste this formula between columns and it still work. So now we're going to add in our match formula. And the way I want to do this is I want to add a few rows at the top so that we can add some additional lookup information. I'm going to use the top row for this purpose to link to the actual columns we want to pick up in our new V lookup. So the region, we'll click on there. And this one, we want to be the customer segment. So we'll just do that. I can now actually give this a more sensible name, given that it's on an order sheet of customer region. So avoid any confusion between the order region, perhaps. The key offending instrument is this number three. So we need to use our match formula to generate a number three. And we want that match formula when copied and pasted into other columns to generate the appropriate number for those lookup columns too. What we are trying to do now is to create our match formula so we're going to use the match formula to look up our column header that we want to pick up which is there and it will always be in the first row so we need to fix the row but not the column we want to try and find this on our customer table within the header row of our customer table which is row one and will always be row one and that will return the position of the column within our highlighted area. So it will say, where is region within this table? And it will return a three. We want to always have an exact match. So we're going to use a zero on the end of that. And that will give us our three. We will then see when we move that over here, it will give us our number four, and that is exactly what we want it to do. So now all we need to do is slot this formula back into our VLOOKUP in place of our number three. So that will be our new formula. I will enter that, and we will now see that I should be able to paste this and there we go. Voila, customer region and customer segment. So how robust is this formula then? Well, let's have a mess around with the customer table and see what it can stand up to. Let's uh, insert a column here. Let's move that one over here. And yeah, well, why not put a completely random column in called, I don't know, first name. Now let's go back and have a look. Perfect. Still working. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more tips, tricks and techniques to improve your productivity in Excel. Thank you for watching.